Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the unmountable boot volume blue screen error you are experiencing on your Windows XP computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So, assuming you're unable to boot into Windows, you just want to start tapping the F8 key as your computer boots up. So I'm going to go ahead and actually restart my device here and start tapping the F8 key as soon as you press the power button to turn on your computer. So just start tapping F8. Again, it's the function key up at the top of your keyboard. Go down and select where it says safe mode with networking and hit enter. And then select Microsoft Windows XP and hit enter again. You don't have to select networking for this tutorial, but you can if you choose to do so. First thing I recommend doing would be to actually select no if you receive this prompt and select next. If you have any restore points, I'd recommend restoring them back here. If and not, if you don't have any restore points, something else I'd recommend trying would be to open up the start menu, select the command prompt. If you don't see command prompt, you have to go underneath all programs here and select where it says accessories and then select command prompt. Type in chk, dsk, space forward slash R and hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? Tap the Y key on your keyboard and hit enter. The volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. Close out of here and then you want to restart your computer. And do not tap any keys on your keyboard, just let it proceed with the check this scan here. And there you go, guys. In my case, it was pretty quick. I'm on a solid state drive, so that should probably explain a lot of that. Could take up to an hour or two for some of you guys. Just keep that in mind. But pretty straightforward process. Do a positive to help you out uh, resolving this and various other hard drive errors or hard disk issues you are experiencing on your Windows XP computer. This fixes a lot of common problems you may be having. So I do hope that that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. Do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.